Hello students, in today's lecture, we are going to discuss all possible numericals on the topic laser light amplification by stimulated emission of radiation. So first, let us quickly revise all the formulas. Let us begin. Energy of laser pulse is equal to total number of ions into energy of one photon. From Einstein's relation, energy is equal to E equal to nh mu, which is equal to nhc by lambda, where n is the number of photons striking the surface, h Planck's constant, c velocity of light, and lambda the wavelength. Population ratio N2 upon N1, that is uh, the number of atoms in the excited state to number of atoms in the ground state is equal to E to the power of minus E2 minus E1 divided by Kt, where K is Boltzmann constant and T is temperature. Intensity of the focused laser beam is equal to power upon area. Angular spread of beam del theta is equal to lambda upon D where lambda is wavelength and D is aperture diameter. Area spread of beam spread of the uh, beam is del theta into focal length of lens whole square. Or at times for circular aperture, the angular spread is given by 1.22 lambda upon D. Coherence length and coherence time are related as LC equal to tau C into C where C is velocity of light. Number of oscillations in any length L is equal to coherence length divided by wavelength. For laser, all power goes in an angle theta equal to lambda upon A where lambda is wavelength and A is the coherence width. Illumination is power upon area. Bandwidth del mu equal to 1 upon tau c which is the coherence time line with del lambda equal to lambda square upon c into del mu purity factor is lambda upon del lambda let us begin a laser beam of wavelength 8 into 10 to the power of minus 7 meter and aperture has been given to you it is sent to moon distance of moon is 4 into 10 to the power of 5 kilometer from the earth you have to find the angular spread of the beam and the axial spread when it reaches the moon so the angular spread del theta will be given by lambda upon d lambda is wavelength and d is the aperture which you have been given just simply divide it axial spread of the beam is equal to L into del theta whole square. Just put the values and you get the answer. A laser beam of wavelength 6328 angstrom and aperture from helium neon lasers focused on an area equal to the square of its wavelength. You have been given this point. Now, if the laser is radiating energy at the rate of 10 milliwatt, find the angular spread in intensity. So angular spread del theta is equal to lambda upon D. Straight away put the values given and you get the answer. Intensity is power upon area. Power is 10 milliwatts. So 10 into 10 to the power of minus 3 watt. This has been given in the numerical that is just proportional to square of wavelength. So just put the values and you get the answer. Next, a laser beam of wavelength uh, 8 into 10 to the power of minus 7 meter and aperture 5 into 10 to the power of minus 3 meter. It is sent to moon. Distance of moon has been given. You have to find the angular spread and axial spread. Very easy. Straight away just put the values and you get the answer. Laser beam can be focused on an area of 10 into 10 to the power of minus 14 meter square. If laser is radiating energy at the rate of 10 milliwatt, find the intensity. Power is 10 into 10 to the power of minus 3. Area has been given. Put aside all the powers of 10 on one side and solve, you get the answer. The intensity of a laser beam is uh, given and you have been diameter has been given. Find the uh, intensity. So intensity is power upon area. And diameter has been given to you and area is pi r square. So r is half of diameter. 
you put the values millimeter change to meter radius diameters half put all these values here and you get the answer you arrange all the powers of 10 on one side simply divide take this minus 6 has gone up so it becomes plus 6 and you are getting the answer for intensity Ruby laser is having two states at different temperatures. If they emit radiation of wavelength 7000 angstrom, calculate relative population. Relative population of the two states is N2 upon N1 equal to e to the power of minus E2 by E1 divided by Kt. K is Boltzmann constant. E2 minus E1 is Hc by lambda. H is Planck's constant. C velocity of light. Lambda has been given to you. Put the values. To electron volt if you want to change then one electron volt is 1.6 into 10 to the power of minus 19 joule and you get the answer this temperature kelvin degree centigrade has to be changed to kelvin and k is boltzmann constant you put all these values here on the exponential path and you get the answer similarly you will do it for the 500 kelvin same process and you are getting your answer calculate the population ratio of two states that produce light of wavelength 6000 times strong n2 upon n1 has been given e2 minus e1 value you find change it into electron volt k has been given t has been given put their values and you get the answer for population ratio in carbon dioxide laser the energy difference between two levels is 0 0.1 electron volt Calculate the frequency of radiation. So del E is equal to H mu. Del E, H and mu have been given to you and straight away you get the answer. Coherence length of sodium light has been given. Wavelength has been given. You have to find the frequency and number of oscillations corresponding to the coherence length. So velocity uh, is equal to speed of light divided by wavelength. Speed of light is 3 into 10 to the power of 8. Wavelength has been given to you in angstrom. Change it into centimeters and you get your frequency is will, uh, C upon lambda. Number of oscillations in any length is equal to coherence length divided by wavelength. Coherence length is equal to coherence time into velocity of light. Laser beam has a power of 50 milliwatt. It has an aperture of 5 into 10 to the power of minus 3 meter and it emits light. The beam is focused with a lens of focal length this much. You have to find the area and intensity of the beam. So del theta is equal to lambda upon d. Lambda has been given to you. You change it into meter. D has been given in meter ratio and you get the angle. Area intensity is equal to del theta into f whole square. Focal length has been given to you. Del theta you have found from up. Just keep their values. And for intensity, it is power upon area. Assume that you chop a continuous perfectly monochromatic laser beam of wavelength so much into 10 to the power of minus 10 second pulses using some sort of shutter. You have to find the resultant line width, bandwidth and coherence length. So coherence length is equal to C into coherence time. Bandwidth is equal to 1 upon tau C. Line width is del lambda equal to lambda square divided by C into del mu. Put the values and you get the answer. Coherence length for sodium line is 2.5 centimeter. Find coherence time, spectral width and purity factor. So coherence length is tau C into C. Spectral width is del lambda equal to lambda square upon LC. Purity factor is lambda upon del lambda. Straight, you just have to put the answer. Angstrom has to be changed to meter. Laser source of wavelength of light um, shines on the surface 100 meter away. Deduce angular spread, aerial spread and illumination. For the laser, all power goes into an angle theta equal to lambda upon A. Angular spread is 2 theta equal to 2 lambda upon A. This is the answer. Aerial spread is pi into L theta whole square. L is 100 meter. Theta you have just found 1.3 into 10 to the power of minus 4 radian and pi is 3.14. Put the values, you get your answer. Illumination is power upon area. Milliwatt has to be changed into watt and area has been given. You have to keep the values. 
laser beam on earth is focused by a lens of diameter 2 meter on a crater on the moon. The distance of moon is so much. How big is the spot on the moon? So let D be diameter of focusing lens. Then angular spread of laser beam del theta equal to lambda upon D. 1 angstrom is 10 to the power of minus 10. You get del theta. If L is the distance of moon, then area of the spot on the moon or area spread A is equal to L into del theta. And you get your answer. Laser source of wavelength is so much. Shines on the surface. Reduce this. So laser power goes in an angle theta equal to lambda. Area spread is pi into L theta whole square. Illumination. In ruby laser, total number of chromium ions is so much. If the laser emits radiation of wavelength 7000 angstrom, find the energy. So E is NH mu, which is equal to NHC by lambda. H is 6.6, .6, C is 3 to 10 to the power of 8, lambda is 7000 times strong. So you put all these values in the formula of E and you get your answer. Calculate the energy and momentum of a photon of laser beam of wavelength so much. Just put the values, very simple. Now you must have become perfect in solving. Planck's constant, velocity of light, lambda, momentum is equal to H upon lambda.